Hi everybody, Father Greg and our Seminarian Supreme Andy Blakemore uh, breaking into your Lenten day, uh, days today because today is not a day of Lent. Today is a feast of the church, St. Joseph, which uh, the feast of St. Joseph, which means we get a break from Lent. And uh, we wanted to celebrate that day with you and do it like how we normally do, which is with some scripture and some conversation about this, the feast day and then a little prayer. So, uh, Andy, would you read our lesson from Matthew? Sure. This is Matthew 1, 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Thank you. So we are uh, off-site. We're not even at Holy Trinity today. We are here at the Candler School of Theology at Emory University. My neck of the woods. Your neck of the woods. I'm, I have a, a visitor's pass. Somehow they've let me in. Uh, so, Andy, what's on your mind today about St. Joseph? What, is, what does he stir up for you on this feast day? Well, to be honest, I'm always a little surprised when this feast day comes around. And now it's Lent this time of year, and so I've thought a lot about how we're a little bit removed from Advent and Christmas and we're into Lent and how striking it is that Joseph's feast day comes now um, and we step away from Lent and think about that that what, what I'm not a parent uh, but what new parents told me about what it's like after the delivery's over and the family goes home and you've changed the first diaper and you sort of stretch you sort of realize you're left with this little um, child, and I think a lot about what it must have been like for Joseph to be faced, to, and we know to be this um, sort of strong parent and um, good father, and so something about the wilderness of parenthood here in the midst of the wilderness of Lent. Yeah, I, I'll never forget when, uh, after Andrew was born, like the moment the nurses all left the hospital room and it was just me, Emily, and this baby, that was a that was a certain kind of feeling. <laughs> um, so, well, for me today, uh, it's a, not not terribly complex, but just that um, that as a parent and as a husband, um, that sense of appreciation for the way Joseph kind of quietly embodies the, the best characteristics of that, and inspires uh, me to kind of you know keep plugging along keep sort of doing my best and um, it's it's nothing terribly rich but it's important to me you know these exemplars right that you have of something you aspire to to, to, sit, to have the example of someone who has shown you how to do it well and uh, it matters well uh, we'll stop there way to go with mother Jen on sabbatical way to bring a little <laughs> calendar into it it's been you know we need that because I'll never be the one to do it <laughs> uh, let's pray O oh God, who from the family of your servant David raised up Joseph to be the guardian of your incarnate son and the spouse of his virgin mother, give us grace to imitate his uprightness, his uprightness of life and his obedience to your commands. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Andy, Thank for doing this uh, with, with me. Happy Feast of St. Joseph. You know what? Today you can say, Alleluia, because it is not a day of Lent. All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great day.